Let's talk about Reaper. Yeah. So this video is about using the Reaper for playing your guitar, opening the Reaper, adding plugins and such things. I made a video before about Focusrite Scarlet audio interface and it's basically linked together in this video. So first, if you set up your audio interface and you have everything set right into your computer, then it's the next step is to get the software like Reaper and get some plugins like Archetype Gojira, go to Google, write Archetype Gojira and then buy the plugins it's for 100 bucks and you get like great sounds to play your guitar. First thing you wanna do is to plug in your guitar with the cable or the wireless system as I have. And then of course subscribe to my channel which is here. Let's see what we have here. So the Reaper just open it and the first thing we want to go to preferences, options preferences. And then we are seeing here the device settings, audio systems would be SEO as the SEO audio interface, the Focusrite USB ADO, input 1, input 2, input out 2, yes, just keep them. And then as your configuration, I have these setups for the 8000, for the 64, so you get That's okay for me. Basically the settings are good as they are. Okay, the next step is to double click here and you have the audio track, record, Input input one, input mono, input one to input two. Then I need to add uh, a plugin here that you don't need to do because otherwise the sound won't go through. Because I'm recording with OBS Studio, you only need this like if you're filming or live streaming in Twitch through OBS Studio. So I will just put this on like this. Put start. Put this like here at hidden. Here you have the press here. And then find the plugin you have, for example, the Archetype Kojira, double click, bam. And then I need to change the audio settings so I'm not hearing myself. What? Give rehab. Alright, Archetype Gojira. This one have a lot of uh, built-in presets. Just Gojira put some rhythms. Oh, that's really... So there's like m many of them. You can have like uh, nine different, different rhythm sounds in this. And then Silver Solo is pretty funny. Sounds awesome. Anyways, let's keep moving on. So you have some Gojira presets, some factory, really different clean waters. Just These are really great sounding ones. And some artist presets. You can make your own presets. You can use the default one. You can change the gate. And uh, then you can ex you can swap the amplifier settings yourself, like gain, low, mid, high, mass represents depth level anyway, as much as you like. Then just press reset, so it's all reset. And then you have here like different pedals you can mess with you overdrive distortion. I don't even know what this, all of them are doing, but there's lots of stuff you can do, like putting delay and so on. And of course, you can here change the amplifier, and at the left corner is tuner, so you can tune up or tune down your guitar. I just made a recently video about tuning, tuning up or down your guitar. So here you can tune up or down your guitar by using the Archetype Gojira. I have my standard tuning now for now. One of the most used plugins I've used and I'm still using it. But I just like to swap between different plugins. Let's 
let's close this one put let's put something else so just delete this let's write amp knob uh, four different upgrade for FC and BDH one. Let's put the FC. This is the first plugin I actually bought. It's pretty good if it's in one. But I don't think it's the best bang for bucks, this one, Knob FC. But it's really useful. Just put up gain and just play your guitar. Here's the tuner also. You can sense your set settings like gate and so on. Let's move on. Uh, these three ones are really nice. They're pretty similar to each other, so it's up to your preference which one of us you want to use if you're like buying this bun bundle. There's coming three of them. But the, my favorite one is this, the middle one, BD85169. I just like it. All right, so you can swap the gain from 0 to 10. And, uh, 7 is the default, I think, is pretty good. So you can take the pedal away, you can change the settings as much as you like, and gate. But the default settings are pretty good. Uh, let's change the guitar tune for different, so you can tune up or down your guitar. I have a standard D. Just playing something random. Here are a few plugins I showed you. There are free ones online. You can pretty much find something free, but I don't recommend that. I, I haven't really been finding anything great free. There's like something here I've been using sometimes, something for like clean sound purposes. This for example. One thing I want to show you is that now you have just one track here, but I would like, when I'm usually playing, I like to like get the deeper or like more fully sound. So basically I'm adding two more tracks here as the previous, as the first one. And uh, Let's add, uh, for example, let's put something I'll be using it like this plugin here. And now you can hear, uh, let's mute this one. So it's at middle. Now, now I'm chasing it left, right. So I'm putting the first one at left. Then I'm adding the middle one at middle. And the uh, right one at right taking the mutes away and then I'm putting the middle one a bit like uh, more quiet like minus seven freaking awesome not standard tune but master of puppets anyway. This is what I suggest you to do is to put three tracks and put left, middle, right so you get more fully sound. When you're playing and having those three tracks, when you're doing changes in one, it won't affect the other ones, so you have to like change the settings in all of three of these. We covered some settings here, left, center and right pans, how to put up or down your volume here, you can mute the tracks. What else I could show you? Um, well, of course, the record tracks. Pressing the record button and then the start to play randomly again and now you have all recorded and you just
you can like download if you're like playing a guitar cover you can download the song just import it here and just put them like below here in the, on its own track and then just put your tracks here to sync with the sound like putting the, the song that you want to cover over just put a bit more quiet you want to adjust a little bit like volumes and uh, you want to, if you have like two guitars recorded like now have one guitar recorded at these three tracks and then to another three tracks for guitar you don't want like six tracks going on over you just it's just a little bit like adjusting thing but i will probably make another video how i'm doing the covers putting everything together it's just showing how the reaper works now i might have forgot something important here but it's just a general idea how how, how you get like first putting the focus right out the interface there and then just opening reaper and putting your plugins here and just starting to play of course before you can you see the plugins here you have to install them so basically if you buy, buy archetype gojira you get the installer from uh, the website or whatever it comes in your email i, I don't remember anymore then just install into your computer and it it automatically then comes here as a plugin so you don't need to worry about like where it is what do i need to do just open your reaper software and then then just pick it here and you you will have it just play it there might be some troubleshoot ahead, like you have the wrong input here, like you sound not coming, or then you, then you don't have the cable from your uh, audio interface. Those audio interfaces, of there, there are like little, little things you might actually forget or need to recheck. If you're having troubles, just a little bit of like deep breath and try to check what's, what's wrong, and maybe go to Google or YouTube. <laughs> To, uh, like find troubleshoot or focus right by your sound isn't coming out of grip because sometimes it's not always going smoothly and you forget things and of course remember these if you don't have these on here you won't hear anything to re the track must be like on sound coming out this video was about reaper hope you find this video useful for your journey and i'm doing this because it's it's just no sense you to buy like 500 euro cost amplifier it's, it's not a wise idea to buy expensive amplifier for your home guitar playing while you can get you observe decent studio pickers that i made video about also getting the reaper and just getting plugins from online and you, you have like unlimited amount of sounds and plugins and pedals and amplifiers you can plug your good guitar into just playing through your computer it makes it much more fun and easier than just having one single amplifier this is it thank you for watching the video once again see you in the next video and subscribe comment below like see ya